While doing chemistry experiments, I produced some of this carbon foam that you can see here by putting sugar into a beaker and then pouring a little concentrated sulfuric acid in with the sugar. There's a reaction that causes a block of carbon foam to be generated and pushed up and out of the beaker. What I'd like to see is if a blast from the cap bank will do anything to this carbon foam, you'd think it might be conductive. Let's see what, if anything, the capacitor bank's discharge will do to this carbon foam. This carbon chunk is about as rigid as styrofoam, so I've just laid it across the output leads of the capacitor bank. Hopefully that's good enough. Let's charge up and fire. Charging. Charge. And fire. Got a huge bang. The thing moved, and it looks like some bits of it were blown off. That discharge did take the bank down to nothing. I've tested it by shorting it. No spark, and the voltmeter reads zero. Let's set up and uh, give this uh, another shot, just for fun. I've set up to give this a second shot. Again, it's just lying across the uh, discharge leads. Nothing special. Uh, charging. Charged. And fire! Well, that time again there was a loud bang and the uh, piece rolled off and fell onto the floor. Falling on the floor didn't break it. I'll give it one more uh, shot from the cat bank. I'm all set up again, so charging, charged, and fire! That time it finally took a little damage. It was actually separated roughly into one-third and two-thirds lengthwise. Well, I guess that's all I'm going to get out of this uh, foam carbon. But that was more interesting than just tossing it in the garbage. Thanks for watching, and as always, there'll be plenty more to come.